See how I can flip it. Do oh, God, don't do that. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the new shelves. I'm Judy, and I'm Michael. Welcome back to Friends and Games. Yay, Friends and Games! <laughs> so this is Friends and Games, where we collaborate with other people、mm -hmm. in the board gaming community. So, like other content creators. Publishers, designers, anyone in this industry. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And today,、mm. joining us is the board dad, Rolando, and Redford. Yes, very sassy. <laughs> very sassy. <laughs> Now you can check out their links below. I'm going to put all of the their YouTube channel、mm -hmm. and Instagram and all of their links. So go check them out when you have a Don't chance. Don't forget to subscribe. And subscribe. And today we're going to talk about our favorite game in 2021. Yes, our favorite games of 2021. Exciting. Notice I only say one. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be really, really hard to pick. Ah,、uh, yeah, definitely. We're not going to pick a top ten. <laughs> This is not a top、yes. five. We all are going to tell you what our favorite game of 2021 is. But before、mm -hmm. we get to that, it was very hard, and we couldn't pick it's one. It's very hard. So this is not cheating, but we do have a honorable mention. An honorable mention, yeah. This is one that we both really liked and could have been on our top、mm -hmm. game of 2021, but just edged out. So we're going to talk about it anyways. Yes, and that will be、mm -hmm. Geisha's Road. Yeah, Geisha's Road. Hanami Goji is just so fun. Yeah, yeah. This is the sequel to Hanami Goji. Yes, it is mind blowing. It's Fantastic.、Yes. I mean, Hannah Makoji is amazing,、mm -hmm. and this is just as amazing. Yes. Yeah. So, so Geisha's Road it keeps the same, I guess, the same core mechanics、mm -hmm. of Hannah Makoji, where you have your action tiles. Yes. And it's two. It's a two-player card game, and、mm -hmm. you're trying to.、Um, you can use your action tiles to to、uh, activate the cards in a、yeah. certain way. Yeah. But what's different is this one. Now has、um, geishas that are moving around a circular、mm -hmm. where all their tea houses, tea houses are, yes. right? And they have to match their colors, and it's it just adds this other puzzle of、yeah. every time you play a card,、mm -hmm. the geisha of that color moves that number around, and you're trying to get them to land exactly on the same color of the tea house.、Right? Yeah, so it just adds a whole nother puzzle, and it's pretty good. It feels very different, yet the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a really <laughs> no. That's a really good way to put it. It's、mm -hmm. it's the same,、mm -hmm. but it's not too much the same. It does still feel different. Yes, and I love the artwork. That's、yes. for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I it's gorgeous on the table. Beautiful、yes. game. It's a little bit of a table hog too. A little bit. Yeah, but it's、Just、a great a game.、Bit. Yeah. So this is our honorable mention.、Mm -hmm. So that's Hanami Koji Geisha's Road. Geisha's Check it Road. out. Okay, so now we are going to hear from the board dad,、mm -hmm. Rolando and Refer, and、mm -hmm. here is their favorite game of 2021. Check it out. Sup, Mitchell and Julie. Michael and Judy. Right, potato, tomato. Hey, Michael and Judy. Wait, what happened to Let's Get Into My Friends? Well, first of all, I don't say Let's Get Into My Friends, but this is not a review. We're sharing with Michael and Judy what our favorite game of 2021 is. So review of 2021. All right, let's get right to it. My favorite game of 2021 has to be. Any guesses? Why are you sniffing? Stuffy nose. Allergy season. Any guesses? Monopoly. <laughs> Hadrian's Wall.、Uh, Chief, that's not a 2021 game. That's a 122 AD game. Yeah. You're a few centuries late there, Chief. Smarty pants.、Uh, Chief.、Mm. Yeah, I don't have any pants. Oh gosh, the season of Zoom, Chief. So why Hadrian's Wall? Well, for one, it's a flipping right.、Oh, no. I know, I know, I know. It's a family channel. We、yes. we know the routine. What? I should say it's part flipping right、oh. and part worker placement and a hundred percent combo machine. That's a different game. See, I love how with Hadrian's Wall you start. With a modest amount of actions, and before you know it, one action leads to another, and then another, and 
by the end of the game, you're crossing off box after box and you're just triggering chain reaction after chain reaction. Mm. I also like the attack mechanic in Hadrian's Wall at the end of each round. You know how many troops will be attacking you, but you don't know from which side. Mm. So you can't go, you know, crazy uh, gathering resources and just ignoring your defenses. Sounds like a jelly good time. You mean that? No. At first, the game looks intimidating. Because it's a wall made by Hadrian. Trademark. <laughs> True. But mainly, I mean, because of the, of the two giant sheets that you're working off, off sheeps? of. Sheets? Sheets. Right. Not sheeps. Sheeps. Sheets. Two sheeps? One wheat. No. <laughs> Three. But actually, it's really easy to learn. And I think. Really? Yeah, that's why this is my favorite game of 2021. Because it's just complex enough, but also accessible enough. And it's just a lot of fun. Wow. Mm. Mm. So I almost don't want to ask this, but what about you, Redford? What's your favorite game of 2021? You know, I've been giving this a lot of thought. Have you? Yes. I keep going over and over and over, taking over my thoughts. Would you say it's become the over... Boss of me? Yes, exactly. Look, why don't you just stop beating around the bush and, what? you know, just come right out and say it. For one, Chief, I'm not beating a bush. And for two, everyone thinks they know? Yeah, I think everybody knows. Have I become that predictable? Is there no more mystery left? No more enigma? No more perplexity? Okay, surprises then. Tell us something we're not expecting. Okay, my favorite game of 2021 is... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? It's obvious. Go ahead, bring out the box, Chief. What do you mean? You're sitting on it. Oh, it's been there this whole time? Oh, well, what do you know? Maybe I have lost all the mystery. I'm an open book. All right, open book. Now, close your mouth. I'm a cookbook, because I'm smoking hot. <laughs> all right, so these are our favorite games of 2021. Hadrian's Wall for me, and... Oh. Overboss for Redford. Oh, it was that predictable? So thanks Michael and Judy for all you do for the community. Thank you for including us in this video. And I guess all we have to say is, we'll see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Now who's the predictable one? Can't you come up with something else, Chief? <laughs> okay, well, there you go. That was the board dad and Redford. Hilarious. Do you know that he never wear pants? <laughs> He's not wearing any pants. Hey, Chief, not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're so funny. Yes. They make me laugh every time I listen to them. They're hilarious. So you really need to go check out their channel and mm -hmm. all of their social media stuff. And the links are below. Yes. Check yeah. it out. Now, comes to our favorite game of 2021. Yeah, you want to go first? This is so hard to pick because I have to... Bring it down from 30. <laughs> 30, wow. Okay. So, you know. Yeah. It's like, which kids are you sending to college? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and that kid going to college is... Bro! Yeah, pretty good game. From Pandasaurus Games. Yes. And this one is... You know what? I, I, I First time I saw it, it the artwork draw. Mm-hmm my attention Very to it. Very unique, isn't it? Yes. And when I started to play it, I went, wow, it's kind of overwhelming. A little bit, a little bit. First play. Yeah. But then the second play, I went, okay, I kind of get it now. And I started to enjoy it. The third play, I'm loving it. Yeah. I wonder why. Because I get to hurt you in the, <laughs> in the forge. <laughs> because it's so mean. That's why you love it. It is so fun. So Brew is a dice placement game. Mm -hmm. You are trying to place a dice in the forest, mm -hmm. collect the resources mm -hmm. to do the actions, yep. and later you can train creatures yeah. and release them to the forest. Yeah, exactly. And those creatures give you um, special powers throughout yeah. the game too. Yeah. And not just that, you can also brew potions. Oh yeah, of course. Guess what? Brew. That's why it's called brew. How <laughs> could we forget? <laughs> yeah. And brew can help you. Um, brew potions can help you to do the actions that you might be limited yeah, by the dice yeah. and all that. But yeah. brew will give you extra 
a little bit help. A little bit help and victory points at the end of the yes. game. Yeah. And but it's it, really fun. It's pretty cool because as you're placing your dice in the forest, yeah. not only is that helping you collect resources and do actions, but at the end of the round, whoever has the most dice in each forest actually gains those forests and collects them. Yeah. And you need those to release the creatures into That's the fighting part. Yeah, and that's where you're <laughs> fighting over it. And you have different dice where you can put your dice on top of the other person's dice or move dice around. Mm -hmm. And it can be really mean. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> and like you said before, the art is it's a really it's pretty game. Unique. Yeah, very, very unique art. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. That's brew. Yeah. Okay, so that was Judy's favorite game of 2021. One from 30 games. Yeah, one out of 30. <laughs> My favorite game of yes. 2021 was Cascadia. This is one of my 30. <laughs> yeah, this was, this was on the top so of your good. list, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, so good. So um, Cascadia is was designed by Randy Flynn, and it's AEG and Flat Out Games, mm -hmm. and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous, for sure. It is thinky. Thank you for sure. <laughs> but it's also relaxing. Very. You well, know, just looking at nature stuff. Right? Yeah. Animals, yeah. Yeah. So the theme is, um, it, it's, well, we live in Canada, but the theme is actually, I guess, the Pacific Northwest of America, yeah, yeah. which is very close to where we live. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, it has a lot of, um, uh, the landscapes and the animals that are around where we live too. So we have a kind of a special connection to it. Mm -hmm. Bears and salmons and all yeah. that. Yeah. But what you're doing is, is your, um, it's a tile placement game and you're collecting tiles and you're building and all the tiles have different landscapes on them mm -hmm. and you're building your landscape out. And this is what I love about it because there's no restriction. Yep. You can just build out anywhere you want. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. There are no restrictions. No shapes and all that. Yeah. yeah. But you're your just own. trying to match, but you don't have to, but you're trying to match different landscapes. And then you are trying to also collect the animal tokens mm -hmm. and put them in the landscapes in depending on which cards you draw, because every game you draw different cards, mm -hmm. but depending on the cards for that game... The, each animal, like the eagles and the bears and the elk and all the different animals, you score points in different ways. Yeah. And it depends on how you place them in your in your tableau. Yes, in your tableau. And it's thinky. It's a point salad. So you, there's many different ways to collect points. And it looks gorgeous on the table. And I love this game. And not just us, our kids love this yeah. game too. In yeah. fact, they kind of beat me once. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And you know, that's another. I'm so proud. Always, always proud of them when they win, right? But that's another reason why this game is a plus for me is because mm -hmm. it, really uh, it's family friendly. Yes. But it's thinky enough. I remember when I had one of my friends from my board gaming group. One of my best friends came over and we usually play really heavy, meaty games. Mm -hmm. And we played this and he loved it. Yes. He so went good. home and texted me right away and said, wow, I, I'm still thinking about Cascadia. Yes. It's I'm really sure good. he got one right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. But yeah. I would have to say that um, mm -hmm. Flat Out Games knocked this one out of the park. Very good. Yeah, it's just a beautiful This team game. is amazing. G fantastic team. AEG is amazing too. AEG Flat Out Games, yeah. Wonderful. Yes. So that's Cascadia. Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so that is all of our mm -hmm. favorite games. Of 2021. Yes. Yeah. Our friends and games. Yeah. So we'd like to thank uh, Rolando yeah. and the Real Redford from The Board Dad for helping us with this video. Thank you so much. Please go check out their channel and their other social media sites if you haven't done so already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye. Hey, so I think after this one, I'm going to order a pants for the real refer <laughs> and it's gonna be filled with smarties ah, guess good. what he's a smarty pants there you go <laughs>